Hello, my dear subscribers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another video about all speaking to your card questions. In this video, I'm not only answering one of the late owl speaking questions, but also I'm going to share a bone tip for speaking at the end of the video. Are you wondering what the bone tip is? Then keep watching video till the end to discover it. Now, as a tradition, before we dive into the main content of the video, let me quickly introduce myself to new subscribers to my channel. I am Gulora Muzaffarova, an English teacher from Uzbekistan, and have a look at my all certificate. I want to show it as a proof of my current English level. I took the exam almost two years ago, and my oral band score is 8.5. On the screen, you can see my trust results from each section. Now let's go back to the main part of the video, the question. Today's question is, describe a job you would not like to do in the future. I got this question from the website called allspeakingsuccess.com and this is one of the newest questions of all speaking exam. If you are taking exam during June, July, August 2020, you might be given a similar question. We have four sub questions, so you should say what it is, the job, how it is done, how you know about it, and finally, you need to explain why you wouldn't like to do this job. Now, these are my notes, which I took to prepare for my answer in part two question, for part two question. I'm going to talk about a job of an accountant. This job involves doing lots of calculations. How I know about this job? I know about this job because we run a small family business. And why I wouldn't like to do this job? Because it's a very meticulous job. So this is a job I wouldn't like to do in the future. Now, I already wrote down the scripts of my speech and recorded my voice. You can at the same time listen to my speech and read the scripts. It helps you to understand my speech much more easily. So if you're ready, let's start. All jobs are difficult to some extent. They have their own peculiarities, which are known to only their masters. The job which I would hate doing in the future is an accountant. By nature, I consider myself a people person because I like being around people all the time. Thus, I have chosen to work as a teacher and I enjoy this job quite a lot. However, accountancy requires working with numbers and documents. Accountants need to calculate everything accurately to get even income and outcome. Meticulousness is a must for them, so they spend hours at a desk working with numbers. For an active person like me who can't sit still for a long time, this is too much. I think I would get bored stiff. I know about this job because we have a small family business and every month we had to do calculations by ourselves since we didn't want to hire a specialist for this. Thanks God, I, all the members of my family took charge of it. I of, often saw them working for hours and hours with the calculator and making calculations repeatedly. I'm very bad at counting, even I don't exactly know how much I spent on my personal expenses. I usually have a rough idea of how much money I have and how much, how much of it I spent. I tried to learn money, money management several times, writing a list of my earnings and expenditures. However, I couldn't maintain it for long. I think I'm not a financially savvy person, but I'm lucky to have people who take care of such things instead of me so that I can focus on doing things that I enjoy. This is the end of my speech. Thank you very much for listening. Now we're going to discuss words which are given in bold in the scripts. I'm going to explain these words with pictures. The first word which I want to explain, this is an accountant. Who is an accountant? I talked about an accountant a lot. And who is this person? An accountant is someone who keeps or examines the records of money received, money paid or owed by a company. So. The working with the money of the company and calculating it, this is the job of an accountant. The next word is a people person. I describe it myself as a people person in my speech. A people person is somebody who is friendly and enjoys meeting and talking to people. 
Let's continue. Other words. Meticulousness. I use this word to describe the job of an accountant. Meticulousness, it means paying great attention to every detail. Just have a look at the picture. This man is measuring the space between a knife and a fork. And this is meticulousness, like paying attention to every detail, to small details. I'm not a meticulous person by nature. Another word, this is bored stiff. It's actually an expression and it's usually used in spoken English, not in essays or in formal English. So bored stiff, it means extremely unhappy because something is not interesting or because you have nothing to do. So if I do the job of an accountant, I would be bored stiff. I would be very unhappy because it's not interesting for me. Other words, expense. I use it in plural in my speech, expenses. It means when you spend or use time, money or effort. Expense, in other words, it means spendings. So you spend your time, money or effort on something. Another word which I use it, this is expenditure. Expenditure, it means total amount of money that a government or a person spends. So expenditure is um, a general noun and uh, it refers to all the money spent by, an, by a government or by a company or a person. Thank you very much. These are all the words which I wanted to explain why pictures. Now it's time for a bonus tip, which you have been waiting eagerly for. Today's bonus tip is pay attention. Don't worry too much about grammar, about being 100% correct in your speech in terms of grammar or about using advanced vocabulary in your speech because fluency is more important than being 100% grammatically correct or using complicated vocabulary. I often see my students or other English learners, they are over worried, they're anxious about speaking correctly or using complicated vocabulary in their speech. As a result, they make long pauses in their speech. They lose fluency. But please remember, being fluent is way more important than being correct or using complicated vocabulary. That's why work on your fluency. Try to speak without making long pauses in your speech. So this is the bonus tip which I wanted to give today. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked the video, please support me by subscribing to my channel. Also, share the video with people who are studying for IELTS. Once again, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next videos.